can see I have now finished designing my cover file. Um, you can see it in front of you. So you can see my design reaches all the way to the edges of that blue area. So the blue and the pink are no longer visible. And my barcode, I have moved it down here into the corner. I've put a white box behind it with my website address. So feel free to do something similar or whatever you want. Um, I have added some text to the back cover. Um, a little cute illustration there. Um, I've set my front cover up. Um, I think I've got all the elements I want and I'm happy with that. So I'm going to save that. Um, and I will keep the name of my generated cover file because when they generate that for you, it uses your unique ISBN. So just keep the name exactly the same. Um, and then you are ready to export it um, as a PDF. So we go to file export. And as we did with the interior file, and we'll just keep the name the same, export it into your folder. Um, here in the settings box, as we did with your interior file, let's keep that PDF X 1A 2001 um, modified because, well, actually it doesn't need to use the document bleed settings because there is no bleed. So we can take that off. Make sure it's uh, printing all your pages of which there is only one click export and let it do its thing and you will have your um, file ready to upload. So you should at this point have your interior file which we generated before and you should have your cover file. So then we can move on and we can upload those and we can complete setting up our title on Ingram Spark and we'll be getting so close to seeing our books in print. So well done. If you're still following along, you're doing really well and we're nearly there.